Understanding climate change in seven easy steps. One, the Earth and the Moon are the same average distance from the Sun, yet the average temperature on Earth is almost 63 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than on the Moon. Why is it? Well, it's warmer because the atmosphere provides a greenhouse effect. This effect keeps in the heat just like a blanket. Two, atmospheric gases all have different characteristics, the same as all substances. Some gases are better than others at absorbing energy at each particular frequency. Three, the frequencies of energy coming from the sun and leaving the earth both cluster at their own specific frequency ranges. At the outbound frequency range, the gases best at absorbing this energy are called greenhouse gases. Four, carbon dioxide is one of these greenhouse gases. Human activity adds 27 billion tons of carbon dioxide a year on top in addition to natural sources. Now this sounds like a lot, but you take a busy freeway in a big city if you're sitting there, you can see all those cars around there. And that's just a tiny sample of the fuel that's being burned in this world. Five, where does this extra carbon dioxide go? It can be absorbed by the formation of carbon containing rocks, plant life, and marine plants, marine waters. Do these processes absorb all the carbon dioxide? No, they don't, as worldwide measurements show rising levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. In other words, it's going in faster than it's coming out. 6. More greenhouse gases means more greenhouse effect. That is, it causes more heat energy to be retained in the atmosphere. Heat is a fuel of weather, so more heat energy means more fuel for weather's processes. This extra energy changes weather's behavior, for example, becoming more erratic. While the weather has become more erratic, which means its average behavior is changed. Since climate change is weather's average behavior, changed weather equals climate change. 7. Carbon dioxide is accumulating in the atmosphere. Even just looking at the data from modern sampling machines shows this carbon dioxide will act as it does, in this case act in its greenhouse function. Given the way the universe works, that is following the laws of physics, there can be no other logical result. In no way is it even possible for the detractors to be right. It's the same thing as having too many blankets, and that would affect your behavior.